you are not as wise as you thought. Eh? You will have to leave everything behind. Tell God, all those things, I leave it behind. I want something genuine to come on my life. I cry again for something heavy. The land has been tasked. They are looking for a man. When will a man arise? People will do something after two, three years. They will, they will fizzle out. They, God used them. He anointed them. But they did not carry the weight. The kind of grace that have the capacity to till the ground. To go to the foundation and put pillars there. I will travel. I will travel where they put the foundations of the city. And I will become one of the pillars. That's my target. It's not all this in any small thing you live. We have not started the business. No matter what happens in this conference, it is a charge for men to arise. I pray, hear not ah, uh, that pray. I pray, hear not ah, uh, that pray. There is a praying spirit within me, oh. Daddy, you remember 2014? When you met me at orientation camp, Shagam, and we were discussing something, and you told me I was a Bible man. Pastor, you know that our pastor is a Bible man. So I was a, I'm, I pray well, I pray well, but now I know that I was not really praying, but I was praying. So, I was complaining to you that I'm, this prayer secretary thing, I don't like it. And I know myself. Once God tells me to do something, except I have not started. When I start, I will baptize my soul, everything about me into it. I said, I, don't, I told you I don't like it. You now told me. That if God is taking me out of this thing I'm used to, and is bringing me into prayer, then there is something he wants to do that cannot be achieved without a man giving himself to prayer. You now took my hands and said, fast for two weeks. S certain people, when they, your life will change or when they shake your hands. <laughs> that two hours we spent in your room at that camp, I will never forget it. It is there I began to set my life. Set my life. This, this is how I now develop that my prayer thing. I now took two of your messages, cut out the first 10 minutes. Number one is the staying power in prayer. Number two is the fire of prayer. 10 minutes, I put it on every night. Especially when I want to give up. I will now hear, God can win with few. We need to tarry. The staying power, the tarrying power, the tarrying grace. I said, what is this? I was hearing the teaching, but what I was looking for is the spirit. How can a man tarry every day? It's, it's strange to my ears. It is normal for a man to be weak. But every day, and it was that time God spoke to me and said, you will give me night with you. That time I can fast, I can pray a little but the worst is Naivichi. I cannot do Naivichi. I can't. And today, I have found out there is no man of strong authority that doesn't keep the night watches. It's not possible. It's not possible. One hour in the night, okay, let me know since because you will come and say, I said, is a, a heavy sacrifice. Sometimes I will be eat, I will be fasting but if i'm not doing night vigil you will not know but if i start doing night vigil even if i'm eating my body will be going down my body will be going down the night watches every day i wake up i put the message he said the fire of prayer when the thing continued and continued week after week months went to month. before you know it people began to pray because i'm praying Meanwhile, I'm not interested that they are praying because I'm praying. I suddenly began to see where God is taking me. I look at myself and I notice that I have not carried what it takes. I continue praying. It was in my prayer that I started moving 
from three hours to four from four to five sometimes i will go to an assemblies of god church at there is a place called pansheke at ogun state Abiyokuta, when i get to that place i will make sure they dismiss me in my P P ppa by 11 a.m and i will go to that place lock myself in fact i prayed there for so long that the man the pastor in charge gave me a key and said whenever you are through lock the church I will stay there till evening. Depending on what they are doing in the family house, I'll be telling God, no, I cannot end like this. I thought I was praying for myself. I did not know that God wants to implicate a generation in the prayer move. In case you don't know, let me tell you now. God has summarized what he wants to do in these last days and has decided that if men, if you are not given to prayer, I don't know what else that God called you to do. You have to give yourself to priesthood as a basic requirement. Whether you are a politician, whether you are anything, pray for me, gather people to pray for you. It's good. This, the time has passed. Now you must enter into the prayer way. Whether you are a teacher, whether you are a young man met me he said he's an evangelist that he doesn't care about this our prayer team that all he needs if you people are praying he you know he will just come and pray and then the anointing will move i said this is how satan will bind you are you the only one just because somebody got healed one person are you the first person i told him have you not noticed my brother is hearing me have you not noticed that your father has raised cripple i said that book you saw online and you are rejoicing Go and check your father's library. He went one day, his father that is no more on fire. He checked and saw the books he was shouting about. His father had it early 90s. So the young man became more quiet. I told him, have you not noticed your father is not impressed yet? What will impress him is priesthood. It is when you give yourself to prayer, certain things that he has not seen before, we begin to break up. No prayer for anointing, no prayer for ministry prayer for the purposes of God as long as there is something God wants to be done as long as there is a project in his heart we will continue praying anyway for some of you you will just pray and go and then but for we men like us prayer is a calling even when I finish running around I will just lock myself in one room and be praying and studying prayer I have found out a gem in God I will not leave it even if you want to, I will not leave it. Somebody came and told me that the way we are growing now, that we should, you know, modernize the way we pray, you know, and all that. <laughs> Somebody came and said, the way we grow, because the way we grow, our speaker, some things, more. The people that know us know. If we go school picks this mic, I think this, your sound is very powerful, venerable. If not, hey, if he picks it, he will not say pray. He will not say anything. One hour, 30 minutes will pass. And the way he groans into the mic, one day we prayed for three hours. We saw this one, smoke coming out. This one, smoke coming out. This one, we brought another one, smoke came out. And people told me the problem is the way you are, you know, you should reduce their voice. I said, the one we had, what brought it? If you like, let this boy ten times. We'll be buying another one. Prayer must be going on. Prayer brought the one you have. Don't modernize prayer. It's Satan that is giving you that advice. To modernize prayer. No. I will hold it. I will hold it. And in case you are a pastor, you don't want to pray. You are looking for tactics. You are looking for scheme. There is no scheme. A pastor met me and he's telling me, asking me, how do you do this thing? I say, you see me groaning on the groaning and my sweat. You are, am I a magician? Are you not seeing the, what I'm doing? The secret is this thing. It's when you groan the way I groan for six hours. You will know what it, the pain that Jesus is bearing for you. The reason why men sin, fornicate up and down is that they have not born body with Jesus before. When you bear body with him in traverse, and then there is a muscle here that I ask uh, uh, medical personnel. My own has torn many times. They call it serratus arterior. 
I have to find the name. All everywhere is spending me. I will tell Jesus, hear me, it will go. And I will go back. I will sleep. I will be praying. Two hours, I wake up. I will continue praying. Praying. I will tell you, have a good morning. You will say, fine. I will continue praying. Continue praying. Continue praying. Until my house became a house of prayer. Huh? It is when I gave myself to prayer and fasting and Bible study that I saw something coming upon my life. As it was coming, it was increasing. As it was coming, it was increasing. One day, I just noticed that I was not timid again. No. no, I was. I was an introvert. I was everything. I know some of you will see me like this. No, it's that thing that came. That made all the difference. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you came from. You have to trust God for genuine grace. So that what is in your ordination will start coming out. What you are living is the fake life. It is when that thing comes, you begin to live the real one that God has ordained for you. Acts chapter 1 verse 8, but he shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. It was when I was praying and laboring for long that one day I came out and I noticed that the power of God came on my life. I want to teach you something now before that it comes. When the power of God came on my life, I went to minister and I noticed that I minister, minister for seven minutes and the thing finished. I didn't know something can, the anointing can finish. I said, but I have the Holy Ghost. How can the thing finish? Hallelujah. You can be seated now. You see, the Lord is prepared for you. Amen. So, um, my message has finished. This is what I was trying to accomplish. Huh? The anointing finished on my head. And I told God, I thought I've contacted the anointing. He said, you don't know how it came about. He now told me, go and fast and pray again. I fasted and prayed. The thing increased. It was there that I found out that if you want to maintain the consistency, consistency and purity of what you receive from God, you will have to continue doing what you were doing before the thing came. One day I flowed in it until something grew out, grew out and it was a horn. So something can fill that horn and we can function in it for long. You can help people on the road, no, not just in the church. You can help people in the marketplace, in your home, anywhere you found yourself. Can you pray for two minutes? Sit down, don't stand up. Pray for two minutes. Ask God, I need something to come upon my life. You cannot dominate your sphere until something comes. The time is short. There is need for men to arise very fast. There is need for men to give themselves to training. There is need for men to give themselves to process. Pray and not ask. I pray. I pray and not ask. I pray. There is a praying spirit within me. Oh, I pray. 